Researchers have long looked for a way to prevent bullying in American schools, but the problem persists and nobody can seem to agree on a way to address it. According to American SPP, 160,000 kids per day skip school in fear of being bullied. Now there are three Bs to bullying. There's the bully, the bullied, and the bystander. 30% of youth admit to bullying and one in three students are bullied at school. 70% of bystanders sit around and watch it happen and they, they do not intervene or even report it. My name is Taylor, this is Sherry, this is Josh, and this is Daniel. And today we'll be talking about the rising problem of bullying in grades K through five. Kids in elementary school do not, do not possess enough skill building to prevent bullying when they get older. Now the majority of bullying happens on the playground where there's less surveillance and less supervision, which is more likely to be continuous and, and physical. Some, some, some psychological issues um, of kids who are bullied is humiliation and harassment, but what's most troubling is a rising amount of suicides, which is now about 4,400 students per year. In 2013, the Indiana State Legislature created a law that required all schools to report any incidences of bullying to the Department of Education. 27% of the schools did not comply, and the ones that did reported inaccurate numbers. Our solution is a program of peer mentoring called Kids, Kids Connected that will be implemented in the elementary schools. Our target group is the ages of K through, or the grades of K through five, ages five through 10. Clinton Middle School in Stanford, Connecticut in, implemented a peer mentoring program in 2011. They used GPA uh, to, to put their students together. Um, Kiera, a seventh grade student, was paired with a eighth grade student named Kelly after she was found to be bullying. Um, after the peer mentoring program was implemented for Tiara, she uh, became a straight A student and is now a peer mentor herself. We spoke to Officer Matt Johnson, a counselor at Noblesville High School, and he also implemented a peer mentoring program, but they use the number of uh, times a student goes to the office for behavioral issues. After two times, the student is required to uh, participate in after school club and is assigned a peer mentor to help with schoolwork and club activities. Our program will use ACE scores to uh, pair the children together and um, make that make that work well. Daniel's going to talk about ACE scores. Well, first off, these are uh, the statistics for the Evansville uh, school system, uh, where we'll have 22,000 students that we will be able to possibly work with uh, with us. But before we continue on. I'll be talking about ACE scores and what they mean. Uh, ACE and ACE score stands for Adverse Childhood Experiences. Uh, so this could range from if a parent left you when you were young or if a parent was taken away from you. Just things that happen to you when you're young that could adversely uh, affect your mental uh, state. And the score is derived from a 10 question quiz. And what this quiz will give you, uh, give you is uh, a score. And if you get a score four or higher, you are considered at risk, which increases your chances of depression, suicide, and these also these kind of feelings can also make a child be more angry and uh, be more aggressive in their youth. And so we're trying to combat that by pairing low scoring younger kids or low scoring older kids with uh, high scoring younger kids to try to combat these A scores. And how we're gonna apply this is in the, uh, the extracurricular classes like your art classes, music classes, physical education classes. Uh, the one we have on the board right now is for an art class. In an art class, you typically have about one hour, so we figured we'd give the students uh, 10 minutes of prep, getting what materials they need, plan for what they're gonna make, uh, talking about what they're gonna do, 40 minutes of actually working, making the art, doing what they need to, and then 10 minutes of cleaning up, clean up the mess, discuss what they made, and through all this, really just emphasizing that bonding experience between these two kids that they're actually getting to know each other and really building up their skills. <clears throat> so, this is our graph. You can see that a kids connected is, is hitting every important point. So, let's start with like current state policies. The current state policies, as which Taylor said, most schools don't follow them. Uh, only about 27% uh, follow, uh, uh, follow them and actually report the bullying. Well, well we will be reporting all of it. <clears throat> so, uh, next is uh, Big Brothers and Big Sisters. Big Brothers and Big Sisters is a is a mentoring uh, program where college age and young adults help out uh, K through middle school age students. They this is they are not peer mentoring because it is such a difference in uh, age gap. But if but ours will be peer mentoring, so it would be like a second grader being peer mentored by a fourth grader, so they can get their full effect and really see what this role model that they can physically interact with 
at, on, on a regular basis can, can do for them. <coughs> um, and uh, now on to the business model. Uh, our primary target is obviously going to be the Vandenberg uh, County uh, School Corporation will then lead to be one of our big, biggest partners with us because they're going to give us the access to the teachers and parents and most importantly the end users which will be the K through 5 students. Uh, the teachers and the parents will be key partners because they'll be giving us information and feedback to our in-house counselors, the Kid Connected counselor that will be in the school directly and they will give us the information and feedback we need to make ourselves better and to give us information about the students that the students aren't telling us directly. Uh, the University of Southern Indiana will also be a key partner because we'll be needing uh, people who are in the psychology major or people looking to be psychologists. And so we can uh, get students that are about to graduate and get them involved into our program and teach them about A scores and they'll already, already have the training of being a counselor to uh, do that for us. Uh, other than that, our key activities will obviously be the A score uh, testing, which is how we pair our kids together to then give them the skill building that they uh, need to uh, better themselves. And then our channels are will typically we'll be making a website that will have our key our like stories, our success stories, and information about us, and that will be spread through the Vanderburg County school system. And maybe they can branch us out into other schools to maybe grow ourselves along the way. And all of this is in purpose of mitigating bullying and skill building these students so later in life they're not bullies in the middle school to high school ages. The chair will not talk about the money. Our cost structure uh, will start with two psychologists in, in two different, or one psychologist for two schools. Uh, they'll be about $35,000 a year apiece. Uh, to start the website, it's about a $2,000 startup with a $40 a month cost fee to, uh, for security and uh, maintenance and things of that nature. Uh, administrative salaries for the four of us, about 35,000 a piece, so 140,000 total. Uh, our revenue streams will apply for the Peso Foundation grant, which helps uh, at-risk kids. They've, uh, their grant goes from anywhere from $1,000 to $10,000, but it's usually between 2,500 and 5,000, depending. They've given away $74,500 this year. Uh, the Annenberg Foundation, which helps with the uh, betterment of students in education, gave away uh, $68.8 million in 2017, or 2016, I'm sorry. And um, again, it will, it will, uh, will be, we'll qualify for that one. Uh, I will also apply for several local grants, the Alcoa Foundation, the Cook Foundation, the Vector Foundation, um, that also helps with uh, education in the community. Uh, yearly contracts with our schools, which will be our, our main revenue, uh, at $20,000 per school, and hopefully EBSC can push us out to other counties. In conclusion, we feel that our peer mentoring group, Kids Connected, will help the kids build enough uh, skill building for when they get older to prevent bullying. Thank you.